Welcome everybody on YouTube and of course all the people here in chat. We got a new deck today. So this is a deck I made yesterday with um, calling it Golgari Agro Lands. What we're trying to do here is self mill ourselves a bunch. So we have Stitcher Supplier, Glow Spore Shaman, and Under Realm Lich as ways to self mill us some. Um, kind of the same with Branch Walker Jade Light. They can do a little bit of that. And what we're trying to do is get a lot of lands in our graveyard. We got 26 lands over here. We're trying to put a lot of them into our graveyard. Um, and then use World Shaper. Oh, yeah, World Shaper self mills us also. Use World Shaper and Mending a Dominaria, which I guess that also mills us. Um, get Use those to be able to put a bunch of lands back into play. And whenever we have all of our lands in play, then we Sylvan Awakening and kill our opponent with that. So... That's exactly what we're trying to do here. Yeah, YouTube link is youtube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG. That's where you can find it, it there. Um, so this was a deck that, that I thought about like whenever Under Realm Lich was first previewed um, and talked about the deck then, but I actually hadn't been able to play it yet. So finally got some of these cards like World Shaper and Mending a Dominaria and Sylvan Awakening. Those were like some of the last cards that were acquired here on Arena. So we got the cards to to try to make this work. Golgari Queen is in here kind of to sack is like a, a way to be able to sacrifice World Shaper because we need World Shaper to die. So if our opponent's not like killing our World Shaper, it's it's a way it's something that can do that. It's also a little bit of interaction as well. So it's kind of nice to have a little interaction. And we can also sacrifice things like Elvish Rejuvenator and Stitcher Supplier to kind of go through our deck as well. Um, so that's the plan. We'll see how it works. Um, yeah, let's try this out. This will be something new. I'm excited to play this deck. We may play this deck, you know, if we just, like, lose two matches real real quickly we may play two leagues with this deck we'll see yeah this will this is gonna be fun this is a, this is a deck i've been wanting to play for a long time but i haven't had the cards and we got them now oh yeah let me, let me update the deck list command good call good call Golgari Agro Lands. Hey, the big hug. Welcome. Checking in for the 5 0. Love it. Um, do I play Folly here? No. Let's go. Let's go Supplier. Next turn, we'll go Shaman, put a land on top, have that land play Jade Light. And Rejuvenator and stuff like that. And then we, we can play Memorial of Folly on turn 4, basically. Perfect time and one to catch this deck. Nice. We look like kind of a, like a normal deck here. Duba Hyrule. Twitch has been messing up, but happy two months. Thanks so much, Hyrule. Yeah, the notifications aren't on for some reason right now i have to i'm gonna have to try to fix those after the stream today so the the hype boat's not coming on on the screen but we're putting the hype boats in the chat for that thanks hyrule for subbing for the second month in a row oh uh i do need to mill over the land Nah, no blocks. We can just block next turn. Hmm. There's only one land there. No attacks. Well, I, I kind of like them have like just forcing them to like pay for life with Vanguard, pay for life with Vanguard, pay for life with Vanguard, you know, kind of over and over with these crappy creatures. You know, they can only pay life so many times. 
And maybe we can get him with the Sylvan Awakening. Lushington is our 10th sub of the day. I need some more hype votes in the chat. For both for Lushington and Duba Hyrule as well. Thank y'all so much. Um... I'm just going to play Jade Light here. Yeah, let's just play Jade Light. I wish we had that, that other land untapped. This this tapped land has been kind of annoying for us because it is a good combo of playing Glow Spore Shaman and then putting a land on top and then drawing the land with Jade Light. That is a pretty decent combo. Yeah, we certainly need to pray for no settle. And even like, even just something like Lyra Dawnbringer, that, that'd be... Or Lyra, Lyra Dawnbringer. It's actually going to be a difficult card for us to beat. So I need to draw a World Shaper or a Mending of Dominaria. How are we doing on those over here? We have milled over one Mending, one World Shaper. That's it. One Mending, one World Shaper. That's good Good numbers. Hey, uh, Tenkaitis. Howdy. Alright, we got to 10 subs. So we got to our next sub goal. So let's do a poll. We're buying a pack after this. So go ahead and vote for what set you'd like us to buy a pack from. Alright, or uh, let's see. M19, Dominaria, RIX for Rivals of Ixalan, or XLN for Ixalan. So, 60 seconds. Tutor them from our deck or graveyard. No, we do not. We do not have a way to tutor them from the deck or graveyard. Let's just block this thing here. And take five, I suppose. No, so there's five more in the deck. Ugh. I have I have Memorial to Folly, so Memorial to Folly does get to get back. Does get to get back um, World Shaper. Yeah, I could use Sylvan for blockers. May do that next turn. Oh. Flourish, we're just dead. Well. That's not an instant. It's a sorcery. Can't just cast it. Alright, Dominaria. Hmm. Seems like a good matchup to Golden Demise and... Nic so... I guess they're just they're just green white tokens. So we want golden demise. We're gonna take Frasca out. They're gonna kill our things by attacking. Let's have golden demise, and let's have Crowl Foragers. Find finality. Yeah, find finality. Find finality should maybe just be in the deck, just kind of in general. Still don't have anything for, like, the flyers, but I think that's probably okay. Yeah, so I, I probably should just have Fine Finality maybe over the three mana one ones to help us ramp. Okay. Good hand, good hand. We have to mill a bunch. I'm liking these swamps too. Ah, oh, my scape shift. All right, I can go put Arch of Araska back on top. That's a cool land. Ugh, 
A bunch of creatures. I want to mill over lands, not creatures. Yep, whatever, main. We're playing it. We're trying out this spicy brew here. Um. And no attacks. We want to get as many lands as possible in the graveyard for World Shaper. How are we doing so far? We got three in there right now. I tried for like two hours to make some deck like this work. <laughs> Why Scape Shift is good. Um, it's It can get any land out of your deck and not just like basics. So the fact that it's getting... So the fact that it can get like utility lands is, is really good. You need Wild Growth Package to help bridge the gap to the late game. I initially had the Wild Growth Package in this deck, but that was but I had that before Glowspore Shaman was previewed because I made this deck before all the cards from Guild of Ravnica were out. And I and so now I'm taking those out for Glowspore Shaman. Man, we did not mill over very many lands. Mill over a lot of spells. That's not great. I want those mending of Dominarias. I don't want to draw the lands. I want them in the graveyard. How do you feel about Burn and Modern? It's a good deck. Burn's a, Burn's a good deck. We don't really need Crucible. We have ways to put the lands back into play. I don't think I don't think we need Crucible too much. Enclave Tribunal is lame. Um I guess I'm just gonna golden demise now. They only have three lands. And it's going to slow down their um, ability to convoke. Yeah, Bant Turbo Fog's a viable deck. It's it's much better in best of one than best of three. It's, it's very, very good in best of one. Mending a Dominario is on top. Ugh. Ugh. No. Man, why do you have to tribunal there? Is there a creature that can return instants and sorceries? There's a, a blue creature that can do that. There's a common. I know that. And our opponent's hand has been good. That's what that's what happens when we only have three lands. Let's have good spells. So we have only one other mending a dominaria. We milled over all the other ones. And there, we don't have any world shapers left. Just one mending a Dominaria. Man, we did not very good mills for us. You do not have to fight. Yeah, our, our deck's not really working out for us. Still don't even have Arch of Araska turned on? dead. Saw their history pump with the Johnny. Bleh. Uh... 
Oh yeah, they had their... They had everything. We had nothing. Right. Oh, we're we're definitely relying on those seven cards. Um, the World Shapers and Mending and Dominaris. The fact that I have three World Shaper in my deck is also probably not correct. I probably just need to have four World Shapers in the deck. Maybe Gaia's Blessing, maybe. Fine Broker's not bad. Fine Broker could cer certainly help. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, we, we want to mill all of our lands. We don't really want to mill our cards. We want to mill our lands. But every land, we want to mill it. Which is why Underrealm Lich is so good. I, maybe I need to get more Underrealm Liches in here. Underrealm Lich gets, lets us, like, you know, choose what card we want and what two cards to put in the graveyard. Hey, Tiki Jiki. Flash blue for Tatiotova and Muldratha. How are we fitting all these cards in the deck, though? You know, we can only play 60 cards. How, like, I like Find Broker, I like Tatiova, I like Muldratha. How are we fitting all these cards in the deck? Silly opponent. Letting us put a land in the graveyard. World Shaper is just going to die. I'm just going to bring our lands back. Um. Dang it. I didn't want to get too greedy. With the uh, Under Realm Lich there. Is it possible the deck actually does want more than 60? Not likely. <laughs> Please run. A chase stokes your crew from the my The problem is not finding cool cards to put in the deck. We've already said like a lot of cool cards that we can put in the deck. That's not really the problem. The problem is reducing it to only be sixty. I'm playing the right I'm playing the right ones. The right combination. Yeah, there's there's too many cool cards. So I put them down to... I think I attack them down to three. So I just ignore Angrath. I'm deciding to attack Angrath. And you'll burn for that. So, do you think we should just build like a hundred and see? So you're saying we should just build a hundred and twenty card self mill deck where we just throw them all in and just see what happens? Good cheap deck for Magic Arena purposes. You're looking at. 
Mono red, mono white, or mono blue. Those are all good and cheap. Or is it Drake's? Well, we got two world shapers attacking our opponent here. What do they got? Nothing. They're dead. They're dead. World Shapers, just too good. Too good. Um. Yeah, Ritual Sit. Is it going to work? Oh, I think Grixis with Disinformation is good. Um, that's that's the, the Grixis discard deck that I like to play. My favorite Grixis deck is built around Disinformation Campaign. You certainly have to build around Disinformation Campaign, though. Um... Like you can't just play a bunch of counter spells with this information campaign. I don't want to change too much. I want to kind of keep my deck the same. I'm actually not even going to bring in these duresses. I want to just, you know, kind of practice with this deck. But I'm going to take out the scape shifts. Because they're probably not very good. And um, the Elvish Rejuvenators. Because we don't need to be quick in this matchup. And put in a couple cards that are better for grinding than those. So, we got the unwanted turn three branch walker, but the best I got. Duress is certainly good. I know Duress is good. I want to play the rest of the cards. Um... Tough call. Dang it, I wish I would have got rid of Memorial of the Folly. Alright, I'll have a forest to get rid of for the next one. Do you think Demir would be better without counters? Um, yeah, but I also, I also just think Grixis is better than Demir. I think you can... I don't, I don't think Demir improves by taking out Nickel Bolas and Lava Coil. And having better mana, I don't think. I don't think Demir's. Basically, I don't think Demir's is good without Nicol Bolas than with it. I've tried so many different Demir decks, and just always done the best with, with Grixis. All right, so they ritual of set. And then we mending of Dominaria. <laughs> Make a deck with all your cards. <laughs> Remember when we didn't have lands a little bit ago? Give me that supplier. They better not kill this Mending of Dominaria. I don't know how they're going to do it, but they better not do it. You get Dispersal. So 
Storm, Burn, and Dredge, what's most competitive? Um, all three are about the same competitive level. Like, they're... Odds of victory look good. Like, you can have success with any of them. Um, it's very unlikely anything from... Burn will ever get banned, but it's also likely that burn will get worse depending on just random things that can happen. Dredge is potentially the best of, of those. There's a lot of graveyard hate right now, and it's, it's possible that something gets banned from it. at some point in the future. Regarding ranked being 70% or higher aggro. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. And the control went to tr traditional play. Um, I don't think that's a true statement. From what I've seen for like the, the high ranking players are still play like still looks like there's lots of um mid range and control, especially hard control decks among the the higher ranking players. Seems like seems like there's lots and lots of Jess guy and stuff like that around those. All right, we're getting lots of lands. Um, I just pay two life. Let's play, pay six. Okay, we did our thing. We did the thing. We got lands. Now what? Let's do some more of the thing. Let's play this thing. Before I make you disappear. My old skills still have their uses. Our opponent could certainly ultimate Rao. Could be a problem. I want to I want to explore first. So if it's a, if it's just a land on top, we'll just draw it. Um, yeah, we'll we'll keep that and draw a card and play that. And now we just use Archer Vraska to draw a lot of cards, I guess. And then yeah, Vraska. Like, we need to find a Sylvan Awakening, right? We got three Sylvan Awakenings. We need to find oh, one of those. Come on. I just want to peek. The weight is killing me. I didn't need to play another Vraska here. We had other things to do. Oh, I've never played any of the Planeswalker deck. Um, Planeswalkers. I wonder if they do have lines as well. No, I don't play ranked off stream. Okay. Is this going to happen? All right. No Rao <laughs> ultimate. You're good. Not as That's good. good. As me, but... So even if they counter under Elm Lich here, I could still Memorial the Folly back under Elm Lich and cast it again. Which is crazy. All right, let's take a land. Wherever I go, I leave bodies in my wake. Sure. They really don't like these Vraskas. 
probably going to die anyway. Explorer just puts the card into your hand. You don't you don't draw it. All right, I want that World Shaper. Um, World Shaper has two lands right now. I think I'll just activate Arch, draw a card, mill two, take a Vivian. We have so much mana. We get to do so many things every turn. The search for the What's unknown. the wind cotton? That's real. Um, Sylvan Awakening is like the main win con, but of course, just getting tons of cards every turn also helps. They're down to four cards, even though they've been ticking Ral all the time. What's in their graveyard? I haven't been really paying attention to what they've been putting over there. That's kind of a waste of a lava coil there. <clears throat> Ooh, Eldest Reborn. No! Don't take my World Shaper. Sweet. Uh, no plans on going to another tournament, Datsusa. I am liking the stream life. Ooh, aww. I should probably, do we kill them? So it's five, 10, 11, yeah, we kill them. Uh, I guess we kill them. I wanna take that many of Dominaria. Lands. Lands are sweet. Aggro lands. Alright, you attack here. Aggro lands. <laughs> Alright, we are one and one. Our deck's good against Grixis. Our po I don't think our opponent was expecting to get one shot like that. <laughs> That's what our deck can do. Yeah, we got to see it work, so that was nice. We had to see Mending a Dominaria. Third chapter, put a ton of lands into play for us, and then find a Sylvan Awakening and kill our opponent. That's what we want to do. We got to actually watch it work. Uh, hey, Panagio. Um, just play this thing. It uses my mana better. No, the self mill. Sometimes they kill you. Okay, we're still in there. Still in there. Um, Underarm Lich is good. It's good against Sacred Foundry Plains. I have to like Conclave Tribunal it. MTGA doesn't let you make decks with more than 250 cards. Lame. All right, so yeah. Thanks for the test there. Okay, so we're going to. And a supplier first, and then Jade Light uninstall. <laughs> um, it's not a land. It's a pretty good card. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep it. I've only milled over one land out of all those cards. Only one land. Uh, 
I think our opponent was planning on countering Vraska this turn. So I'm going to just throw a World Shaper out there. If they do kill all these creatures, um, hopefully Supplier mills over some more lands. But they have like Cleansing Nova or something. Okay. So let's go Vraska now. So they counter Vraska, we know we get to hit him for a bunch. Or do I go Under Realm Lich now? Maybe Under Realm Lich. So it's like, do I... Yeah, I think I play the card first, then I, I know if I need to worry about Saddle or not. Um, what's better, Under Realm Lich or Vraska? Under Realm Lich is probably better than Vraska. Just a flesh wound. All right, we don't need to worry about settle. That's really annoying. really annoying. I was like, the worst possible for us, counterspell plus seal away. That was the worst possible. Hey, what's up, Dorky Dad? Another world shaper I can memorial the folly back. Um, just gonna cast under Realm Lich. So they had to have Deafening Clarion. They did not find. And there we go. Little crappy Stitcher Suppliers in, in a J-Light. Got us there. All right, Duress. Vivian. Find. Scape Shift out. Rejuvenator out. And honestly, I think we cut some suppliers here. I think I think we may just cut all the suppliers here because we're going to have other things that self-mill. And... The suppliers don't do a whole lot, and we do have to be a little worried about mil about like actually um, killing ourselves. I guess no. If they're playing like settle, Sylvan Awakening's got to be like the worst in this matchup. Maybe we're not very big settle Sylvan Awakening. So I don't know exactly what we're gonna do with the lands. We'll do something with the lands. We'll keep one Sylvan Awakening. I like Archer Veraska a bunch. Hmm. When Guy's Blessing is put into your graveyard from your library, shuffle your graveyard into your library. Oh, no. Yeah, that sounds horrible. I thought it was like... When Guy's Blessing is put into your graveyard from your library, shuffle like three cards or something. Shuffle your whole thing? Yeah, no, that, that'd be... Her yeah, never mind. That card's horrible. <laughs> Tomb Robber... I don't think Tomb Robber was designed for this deck. I think Tomb Robber was designed for a limited. Uh, yeah, we can keep this. We're gonna have Branch Walker on two.
There's an artifact that shovels five cards from your library. Yeah, I just, I don't think we really need that kind of stuff. Like, I'd rather just have, like, find finality than, than those kind of things. It's not really worth a card. No, we don't need a duress. Turn one. Turn one, they they have five cards in their hand. They may not even be good cards. I don't know anything about their cards. Um We can certainly wait till later. I guess. Hmm. I guess a Teferi is a problem. So maybe we should duress here for Teferi. Yeah, we got things to do next turn. Yeah, I'll duress here for Teferi. There it is. See, give them, we gave them, like, they may not have had that Teferi right away, but, uh, you know, maybe they had that Teferi later on. Gave them some chance to draw it. Um. Nebraska Gokari Queen. Tick up. I forgot our other land was was a tap land. I was thinking that we were gonna have five mana the next turn. Sailor means is pretty good. Pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get uh, Under Realm Lich in play here. They're shocking. For seal away. Like, are they gonna have syncopate for one? Okay, good. One good part about sailor means is that it. I don't really need to attack into it. I can no longer stand by and watch. Hmm. I'm not ready for this quite yet. So I could just Sylvan Awakening here to kill Teferi. But then they get to seal away one of my lands. Well, Crackling Drake... Oh, yeah, you're... Well, so Crackling Drake drew the land, uh, is what I'm assuming there that last turn. Yeah, I mean, we just gotta kill Teferi. So they just have two creatures in play, and they have Counterspell. It's a little rough for us. Ugh, Crackling Drake's great. Give him another creature. Oh, they took Memorial to Folly. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yep, came home right in time for some more Grixis Legends. Beating these Crackling Drakes is going to be a little tough, though. Alright, here's Mending of Dominaria. Resolve this. Oh, they had another counterspell? Oh, that's real bad for us. Real bad. Oh, now these cracking breaks are just huge. 
Hmm. Your demise won't be done well on what's about to happen. <clears throat> There's a Vivian. Vivian's perfect. Vivian's good. Hey, Philly Willy. Doing really good today. We're playing this janky deck that I really want to work, but I'm not sure if it's going to. Thankfully, we're up a game. Yeah, thankfully, we're up a game. Beasts are much We're more struggling reliable. here. This is nothing. We're gonna put some pressure on the opponent. Put them down to six, where our, our two creatures could be lethal next turn potentially. <laughs> yeah, we're doing a little more losing today than yesterday. Oh. Boy. They drew really well. Crackling Drake was great for them. Let's play a couple Necrotic Wounds. Um, Let's do that. We need Jess guy taking more Jess, Jess guy taking turns. It wasn't the longest league I've ever played. The longest league was actually the the green white control lands deck that we played yesterday. That league, that video on YouTube is over three hours. Uh, even like my other long decks are like uh, two and a half hours maybe around there. And that one's like three. All right, well, we have to get... See, this is why I don't really like turn one dressing, because it's like, what am I supposed to take? I don't know. Any of those. Doesn't really matter. We have to get a forest here, and then our branch walkers can kind of start helping us out. Ugh. That's awesome. Cold War, good job. Growler and the cyborg should definitely be Molder Hulks. They do completely different things. Crowl is like for burn decks. Molder Hulk's not even good against burn. And they do do completely different things. I wish I could take Crackling Drake with the Duress. Alright, get a mill over, three cards, put a land on top. Shocked in Sacred Foundry? They're just gonna shock this Glow Spore Shaman? What do they shock in Sacred Foundry for? What's our opponent doing? Just wanted to take the three first. 
I'm good at what the ends justify the means. Yeah, playing the chemistry's inside main phase makes perfect sense. I like they did that, but shocking in the Sacred Foundry I thought was kind of weird, but yeah, so they had a shock, but then uh, taking the damage. So after they took the damage, you know, then I was willing to play Vivian and try to be able to sacrifice it. An unfortunate casualty. Hmm. Decline. All right, we got two turns before Vraska ult. Ugh. Not so much anymore. I'm known for my X reverse. Well, if this very last card. Oh right, Ral can kill Jade Light. I was like, if that very last card doesn't kill. Um. So this is Mill 2. We know the second card's of Vraska. We have only one land in the graveyard right now. Let's play Vivian. How I've seen things that would break someone like you. No time for a break. Ooh, let's see what we got. It's really hard to beat these planeswalkers. So it happens whenever we didn't hit it, play a second land for three or four turns. But we're gonna try. No one said restoration was painless. Um... I think they may let these resolve because of Daphne and Clarion. Is there a way to win from this position? Not sure. It'll be tough. Yeah, the cell directed is going to be very tough. Hurry! And now, oh, so it's going Vivian to be gets, like that. Vivian huh? gets to kill, or Niv Mizzet gets to, to ping Vivian. to do better than that choose wisely because the other one's going bye-bye yeah just not hitting our la our second land drop let Jeskai control set up that's what it does punishes slow starts Come to me. Um, can only cast one thing. No, we're not going to get there. Bleh. All right, one and two. We got a match. Not so bad. We got a win, and we won, and we won another game after that. What's our mythic? Crucible of Worlds. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get all of our lands into play. All right. So our deck doesn't have a, a ton of interaction, of course. 
Um, let's see. What if we... So if we took out Rejuvenator... Um... Oh, cool, X. Did we just play you? Yeah, good games. That that third game was, you know, disappointing. After, we, you know, we mulliganed, and I kept Swamp, Duress, Duress, Branchwalker, Branchwalker, Vivian, and, you know, just mulliganing like that and just never finding another land. Um... Well, it was quite tough. So, think, so we're thinking of taking those out for fine finalities. Whoops. Get back in here, mending. I have not tried Multani and don't really want to try Multani. Why is the explore package in there? Because it's just so good. I mean, it's not like a package. It's just these explore creatures. They're just so good. Um, there's just not better things to play earlier in, in the on the curve than those. And then... Uh, we have another Vivian in here over the fourth fine finality. Needs Sylvan Advocates. That card's not legal and standard. Can't play that one. I, I do not play in shows, tourneys. I have not been invited. Yeah, the scape shift, the scape shift plan just probably is, also isn't necessary. So if we don't play scape shift, um, is that a place for Vivian there? What are some other cards that we were thinking about playing with this? Midnight Reaper. Midnight Reaper could be pretty sweet. We have a lot of crappy creatures that are dying. That'll help us draw our important cards. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so I think this is what this is what I'm gonna try next time I play the deck. Well, I'm probably gonna try this deck again tomorrow. Um, putting a couple fine and a couple midnight reaper in the main. No, I don't think this deck would would want to play Creeping Chill. In order to have Creeping Chill um, work, you need to be like you need to be a pretty aggressive deck. Like that, you know. Of course, the the them losing three life, you gaining three life has to matter. But us gaining three life would be nice. But dealing the opponent three doesn't matter too much um, when we're trying to just like win with a big awakening or something. Do I want a second arch instead of that field of ruin?
Hmm. Uh, Song of Freelies won't really help. I could I could play like Land of War Elf. Squires are better than Branch Walkers. That's a good point. That's a good that's a good point. Squire is better than Branch Walker, I think, for our deck too. Right? Well, Squire still dies to Clarion. Actually, maybe it's not. The attacking for three was really nice. Yeah. For some reason, I was thinking that Squire would not die to Clarion. But yes, Squire is going to die to Clarion because it's a 2-3. Yeah, this is Band of Horses, the funeral. Rascal Gol Golgari Queen wasn't particularly great for us. Um... And I'm, I may need Crowl Harpooners in the sideboard for Flyers. Um, anyway, there we go. If you're watching on YouTube, hit that sub button. And thanks for watching, and hope you watch another one.